All right, here we are going on to a new computer animation uh, tutorial um, in Adobe Animate. And what we're going to be animating today is the effect of flames playing with fire. Um, so what we have here is a few different movie clips of different sizes that are kind of layered, um, really just creating one movie clip and then copying it over and layering it and flipping it and reversing it um, in order to make a full um, looking flame. All right, so we're going to start a new project. Action Script 3 is what we're going to work with for now. Um, and what we're going to do is take an approach to drawing these flames that makes things much easier. All right, so what we're going to do is start with actually our rectangle tool. Of all tools that we're going to use to draw flames, we are going to use our rectangle tool. Uh, doesn't matter what um, color you pick for right now, Basically what I'm going to do is draw what's going to appear to look like almost like a city skyline uh, going across the bottom of my page, making sure we kind of add some variety to the heights, you know, maybe have a low section and some high peaks, um, some skinny spots and some wider spots. All right, and make sure that, you know, you try and give a good variety in the... Uh, in the size and height and that they're not all too much of the same. All right, so going once more here to finish up, and there we go. So I've got a flame that kind of goes all the way across the, um, well, it doesn't look like a flame yet, but we're gonna make it look like a flame. Um, so to, in order to start this now, we're gonna take all the flat pieces that go across and we're just gonna pull those down with our, um, with our selection arrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all of these top parts down to stretch them out. And now you're probably starting to see a little bit more of how those blocks are going to be turning into uh, fire. And we can always kind of push and pull on these a little more later, um, but I think it's a good idea to go across first and just pull all of these um, kind of flat top parts. Again, try and get some variety in the, uh, you know, the thickness of the different sections. So I just pulled that one up a little bit for that sake. Um, you know, and now we'll make, go back in and try and take some of these shapes and push them a little bit more. There we go. So, um, trying to get rid of some of the little angles and things that are in here. Um, so some of these don't quite look right, um, you know, because there's some hard angles in there. And that looks good. And we can also take the, just the points and move those as well um, until we have, you know, an image that looks like it could be a fire. All right. So um, that looks pretty good for now. Um, so what we're gonna do is take this image, we're actually going to create it and to turn it into a graphic. Um, actually, what we'll do is actually make this a movie clip for right now, and we'll call this uh, Fire. Um, and what we're gonna do then is we'll go in and edit the colors, okay? So right now it's a movie clip, it'll play within one frame of animation. Um, but it will have a timeline inside of it. So I double click to go inside. Um, and now what I'm going to do is edit this to make it a gradient. Okay, so we're going to go to choose linear gradient fill. Um, the colors we're going to have to adjust a bit. So I'm taking this black color here, going to make it lighter first to get a reddish color. And then this last color here, my white. First, I need to pull my white bar uh, up a little bit. And we're going to make this kind of like a light yellowish type color. Let's see. All right, so that should work pretty good. This might be too deep dark of red. I might just lighten that a little bit. So it's more like an orange, orangey red. Cool. All right, so that works for now. We, we need to do next is rotate this gradient. So we're going to use our gradient transform tool um, and click on this gradient and then take the corner, this round corner, and rotate the gradient fill so that now it's going upwards and downwards. Um, we don't get to see quite the uh, span of color that I was hoping we would see here. 
Um, actually, I think what we can do is, can I take this line? No, nope, it's one of these. Aha, so I can take this top bar here, um, and if I, you know, squeeze this down a little bit more, get a little bit better sense of the color range here. Um, you know, get that deep dark red and, and going fading into the lighter color there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is basically just keyframe this out, okay? So we're gonna take this image, um, we're going along our timeline here. We're gonna do F6 for a new keyframe, and we're just gonna change up this image a little bit. So basically, I'm just going to uh, push and pull. I'm gonna maybe bring this one up, this one down, maybe go with this one up, um, maybe pull this point down, um, and pull this point down possibly here, um, pull this one up here, maybe go a little bit higher with this. All right, so just shifting and changing a little bit of how this, uh, this flame looks from this first frame here. So let's see, that looks pretty good. Make this go down deeper. This one I'll drop down lower, bring this point down a good amount too, and make this one go up, and maybe make this one go up, and maybe bring this point down just a bit. Okay, so now what I should see is if I go back and forth, I should see these start to shift. And I'll just go ahead again, and we want to do at least five frames of this in order to have kind of a realistic feel. So now the third uh, frame here, again, I'm just going to manipulate this a little bit more. Pull this down, pull this up, up, down, up, down, just trying to make sure I get um, some variety in the heights here, you know, pulling things up and down up and down maybe i'll bring this one down a little bit this way here kind of bend these curves that way maybe bring this one up a bit maybe bring this one up a bit too uh, maybe bring this down actually um, and kind of change up this shape a little bit here and then maybe make the pit of this one Go down a little bit because it was pretty far up there before and maybe bring this last one back up. All right, so now we're, we've got three out and you can see a bit of the shift that's happening here. I'm gonna go to uh, the fourth frame here and the other thing we can experiment a bit with too is actually um, erasing some holes in this. So um, we could do this a couple ways. We could just draw an oval. All right, and then you could select and then delete it. So if I'm going to select it and delete it, that's going to leave a hole behind. All right, so, um, you know, I might do maybe one more of those, maybe somewhere, you know, on this side. You know, again, just kind of like a thin um, hole that might see through the flames. Because sometimes frame, fr ugh, flames, not frames, <laughs> get mixed up a little bit here, aren't always... Um, you know, uniform, they're not always solid too. And we can kind of like stretch these little shapes that we draw in here as well, um, so that they're not, you know, perfect ovals, but maybe a little more kind of like pointed at the top, like a teardrop shape kind of, um, okay. So just kind of squishing that around. All right, cool, so now we have a couple little gaps in there. Um, again, I don't think that I got Right, I didn't get to uh, switching the levels in this yet, so I'm going to go ahead, go back in, again shifting uh, the different levels, peaks and valleys, making the peaks shorter and the valleys lower, or the valleys higher, you know, wherever you want to look at it. Again, going up, going up going up, going down. All right, so this one is just about done. Go up a little bit more on this last one. All right, so one more frame, almost there guys. And um, on this last one, maybe what we'll do is really kind of stretch out these gaps a little bit 
and kind of manipulate those a little bit more um, so that those change a bit. Oops. Maybe bring this one down a bit and squish it in. Okay, and you can kind of close these up too a little more if you want to. All right, so that changes that shape a little bit, um, but I still need to go back and kind of do sort of the peaks and valleys type of deal to these. So going down, going up. that one up, bring it here, um, this one maybe I'll go down with, or not, maybe I'll kind of go up with it, that's a bit of a funny little shape right there, alright, got that fixed, okay, and then once we have this done, basically what we're going to do is go ahead and, um, and just kind of layer these over a few copies of it and kind of flip them around and get it to kind of create a few layers of fire. Okay, so last couple here, go to go way down with this last one, kind of switch and alternate off that. Okay, cool. So now if I play this back, you can see how we've got um, frame by flame, <laughs> flame by frame. <laughs> Wow, having a really tough time with that tongue twister there. Um, animation of uh, flame. Okay, so this all exists within a movie clip here. Um, what we can do now is take this movie clip, um, and you can adjust the size of this at any point. Let's go ahead and play this really quick. Okay, so what we're noticing is the flames are going, they're moving, but they're maybe moving a little bit fast. I think our default uh, frames per second is 24. Now let's maybe make that 18 and let's play that back a little bit more again. Okay, maybe even still a little bit quick. Let's try 16. And I think that that looks a little bit better. It's not so frantic. Okay, but now what we're going to do is let's just make a couple more layers here. So maybe three layers. Um, and we're just going to take this movie clip. We can go Command C or Edit and Copy. And then I'll just go up to this layer and here, and I'm going to go Command V and just paste that in. Um, now what I'll do is I'm going to take this movie clip and I'm going to modify it. So I'm going to modify it, go down to Transform, and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. So that's just going to turn this animation right around. Um, so basically now what we're getting is the effect that there's two different layers of flames going on. Um, you know, we can stagger these a little bit and make them so that they um, don't overlap in the same exact points, okay? So I'm actually going to take this one and scooch it up just a little bit here. Let's see if I can find where it... Okay, so that would be a little bit too high. There we go. So now I'm going to move this one up so it kind of comes up to the edge of the frame. Let's run this now. So now you can see how this is working. I got one little part poking out back here, but you can see how this is starting to uh, get a little more realistic. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. I can still see that bit of the white background showing through. So I'm just scooching that down a little bit more. Okay, and just a tiny bit more there. Alright, so that filled in that little gap. Um, but so, and now one more uh, layer I might add is, um, is just kind of taking, I might actually take that and move that down a little bit. Yeah, see these colors are matching up a little bit too closely. So I'm just moving these down just a tad. We shouldn't see that bit of white there. So I'm really trying to get rid of that. There we go, cool. But and then still there's staggering is enough that I can see that there's two different layers there. Cool, and so we can go ahead and I'll add one more. So I'll just take a copy of the original, the first layer one. Um, the other way we can do this is if I go to my library um, and I just, uh, if I'm on this layer three and I just click and drag this fire movie clip from my library, um, I can just create another copy that way. And so what I might do for this last one actually is um, I might take this last one and move this layer down to the background so it's in the back 
And what I'm going to do is actually uh, use my free transform tool, so the square with the uh, arrows with the squares, and I'm going to make this one much bigger. Okay, so much bigger than my stage. So again, that there's going to be some more variety in the look here. So let's run this again. And so they're not all the same, right? So making them flipped one, uh, turn one the other way, and um, and then added one that was bigger. All right. And so the other things that you can do is, you know, think about adding something else to the scene, something in the flames. You could uh, shrink these flames down, all of them, um, and put them on something. Okay, so I could take and select uh, these three movie clips and, um, you know, I could shrink them down as small as I want altogether and have, you know, just a little fire happening in the middle of, you know, some kind of a scene or somewhere else, um, you know, on top of some kind of an object that maybe shouldn't be on fire, you know. So uh, have some fun, you know, be creative with the flames um, and add some other kind of background element or something, uh, you know, really creative.